Hello everyone. I hope you all are fine with the blessings of God. I am Amrit Kaur and I am going to start with your very first chapter of math pre number concepts. Students, in your previous class you have learned about many concepts like long short, big small, heavy light, short tall and another most important positions like far near top bottom inside and outside above below on under before after okay so let's start with our very first topic that is inside and outside so what is the meaning of inside let's clear it inside means which is in something or which is covered with something for example mango you all have seen mango okay that is a fruit which is yellow in color okay when your mother cuts mango where did you find seed any idea we find seed inside the mango which means the seed is covered with the fruit as you can easily see in the picture seed is covered with the fruit so it means something which is covered with the particular object is called inside now let's talk about outside outside means which is outside of a particular thing thing i'm repeating again which is outside of a particular thing uh let's take its example for example cashew nuts cashew nuts grows outside the fruit it is a dry fruit the seed of cashew nut is seen outside the fruit the cashew nut is not inside the fruit it is very clear in the picture now we can easily differentiate between inside and outside that is cashew nuts grows cashew nut seeds grows in outside the fruit whereas mango seed grows inside the fruit another example is papaya seeds and strawberry seeds papaya seeds which are which you can see in the picture that is black in color okay the seeds are covered with the fruit the seeds are covered with the fruit seeds are inside the fruit and whereas in the strawberry the seeds are outside the seeds are outside another example i would like to take is games football football is a kind of game which we play outside in the playground not inside our homes because it need more space whereas if we talk about the games like carrom board and chess these games we play inside our home okay so in next picture uh in first picture you can see the dog is sitting inside the kennel the dog is sitting inside the kennel and the second picture shows the dog is sitting outside the kennel so from these examples it is very much clear about the concept of inside and outside let's start with our next concept that is top and bottom okay so what do you mean by top top means the position where something is placed above the ground ground means land floor we all stand on the floor or something which is kept on height or kept above on the other hand bottom bottom means something which is kept below bottom means something which is kept below uh 
For example, I have a pencil and I have kept that pencil on my hand. It means the pencil is kept on the top because it is kept above from the floor level. And in the second image, the pencil is below my hand means, means bottom of my hand. So, top means which is kept above and bottom means which is kept below. Let's take another example. Look at the picture. There are four books kept in the pile. What is the meaning of pile? Pile means one kept on the top of other is called pile of books or collection of books. I am repeating again. Pile means one kept on the top of other is called pile of books. And in this picture, there are four books with the different color that is blue, pink, green and red. Okay, can you tell me the position of blue book? The blue book is kept on the top of pile of books. It is on the first position. Now, if we see the position of red book, that is placed on the bottom of the pile because it is the last book among the pile. You can see three books on top of it. So, red book is placed on the bottom and blue book placed on the top of the pile. Okay. So, in next picture, there are two boys playing on a different, different slide. You can say two pictures, first one and second one. In this picture, first boy is on the bottom of the slide. Why? Because his position is towards down. That's why he is sitting, he is playing or his position is on the bottom. And in the second picture, second one is on the top of the slide. That is, he is placed on the top of the slide. So, first picture tells us he is sitting, he is on the bottom of the slide. And second picture tells us the boy is on the top of the slide. Okay, so in next picture, the boy is confused. Why he is confused? Because he is having three items and one bag. He is confused that which item he should kept at the bottom, at the top of the position. Can you help him to solve it? Let's see. The items are eggs, coconuts, turnips. Okay, so which item should he kept on the bottom of the bag? Can you tell? He will keep coconut at the bottom of the bag. Why? Because coconut is very hard and heavy. So that's why he will keep coconuts at the bottom. Then he will keep turnip on second level and at the top position he will keep eggs means at the first position so that they will not will not break now his confusion is his confusion clear so i hope with these example the concept of top and bottom is clear Okay, so our next topic is near and far. What is near? What is far? Okay, let's start with near. Near is something which is very next to me, which is next to us, which is, which we can see easily. That is called 
near and what is far far is something which is placed at a distant from us which is away from us we see that thing from a long distance is called far for example there is a school bus coming and a child is waiting on the bus stop so the bus is near the bus stop the girl is able to see the bus because it is very close to her so the bus is near the bus stop okay can you see car there yes it is a tiny little red car the car is far from the bus stop because it is longer distance the girl has to go far away to catch the car so the car is far away from the bus stop whereas the bus is near the bus stop in the next picture there is a one little boy is sitting and there is one apple and banana is there so which fruit he is able to pick easily can you tell he is able to pick apple because it is very close to him he can reach take and eat the apple but not banana because it is very far from him and in next picture the mother is sitting closer to the boy but father is sitting far from the boy it means the mother is near to the boy and the father is far from the boy so from these example the concept of near and far must clear to you